So we're given some information about tangents and curves for an alignment, and we're asked to determine where the adverse ground remove occurs for curve number two. We're told this is a four lane undivided highway that starts at station 12 plus 43 with tangent T1 at a bearing of north 66 degrees, 12 minutes, 43 seconds west. We're told that each curve has a design super elevation of 4.6%. And the project starts with a grade of 4.12% at an elevation of 266.7 feet. The project ends 144 feet after the PT of curve three. Now we're not gonna need all this information for this particular problem. And some of this was worked out in another uh, example problem. So I'm gonna skip really to the focus on this problem relating to adverse crown removed. So to me, I wanna start with a nice drawing that's showing us the cross-section perspective. Uh, we see the cross-section down at the bottom of the screen in this A through H. And then we have the pro profile view above this. It's gonna allow us to see uh, PC and PT. And we do have a simple curve. So we're gonna have this nomenclature with PC and PT. It's not a spiraled curve where we're gonna have uh, TS and ST and CS and, and SC points. So we've got the PC and the PT. So we're going to need to distribute the super elevation runoff uh, is, is a key part of this. So one of the things we need to identify just where we are looking for, where's that, that those stations that we're looking for, and we're looking for adverse crown remove. So we need to know a little bit about the definition of that, and that's going to be at point B and point G. So we want to know the stations of these two points. And depending on what jurisdiction you're in, you may have a different division of runoff. Uh, in North Carolina, it's common to have one third and two third uh, on each side of the PC and the PT. It can be 60, 40, 70, 30, different states and, and jurisdictions do different things, but this is what we're gonna use in this problem. And what we can find from the green book there's a table for super elevation runoff. Uh, the current version is table 316A. And for a four lane undivided, that means there's two lanes that are rotated, 4.6% design super elevation and a 55 mile per hour design speed gives us a runoff of 176 feet. So this distance here, 176 feet. And similarly, over here, we're gonna have 176 feet. We also, in our previous problem, calculated and determined the stations of our PC and PT. So our PC station The station of our PC, excuse me, is three is, is 32 plus 21.59. Oops, I had some leftover values there. 32 plus 21.59 for our PC, and our PT has a station of 37 plus 72.73. So those are our two stations. And to get from the PC to point B and from the PT to point G, we need to go two thirds of the runoff. So we're gonna multiply that 176 by two thirds. And we're gonna come up with 117.33. And similarly for the PT, we're gonna need to go 117.33 feet past the PT to get to point G. So at this point, it's as, as simple as go ahead and doing this calculation, doing the math here. So the station for point B is gonna be 32 plus 21.59 minus 117.33. And that's gonna give us a station of 31 plus 04.26. 
And then similarly for point G, we're gonna take our PC of 37 plus 72.73, and we're gonna add the 117.33 feet, and that will give us a station of our adverse crown removed at 38 plus 90.06. So again, adverse crown removed is when we have, we're still at our normal crown slope on our inside, we're flat on the outside lanes, that's points B and G, adverse crown removed 31 plus 04.26 and 38 plus 90.06. So for any given simple curve, the adverse crown remove happens both before and after the curve as we're transitioning into super elevation and out of super elevation. Those are our, our two points in the answer to this question for this particular curve, where does adverse crown removed occur?